Well, we're going to be installing a crane onto our trailer today. So this crane was picked up off of Amazon. It's about 360 bucks, and it is actually a truck bed crane, I think is technically what it's called. It's made just for that situation where you install it in the back of your truck bed and lift things in. But we're going to put it onto our trailer, and it's rated up to, I think, 1,200 pounds, somewhere in that neighborhood. So we should be able to pick up a lot of the things that we need to pick up. So things like box scrapers or tractor implements in general, we can lift them up off the ground and put them right onto the trailer. So sometimes I just, I'm by myself and I don't have any way of lifting this stuff onto the trailer and this is gonna help out immensely with that kind of uh, equipment. Um, so first things first, what we're gonna do is we're gonna get in a box, we're gonna take a look at all the welds, we're gonna look at the quality of the build, make sure it's decent enough for us to even try. So it's a Chinese built thing and those are questionable at best, but we're gonna give it a shot. Sometimes you get good ones, sometimes you don't. So we're gonna try this out. Let's look at the welds, look at it, look it all over, make sure that we want to, you know, actually install it, see how it does. So let's get it unboxed, take a look. So it's rated at 1,100 pounds, and it has a 2,000 pound electric winch with it. So let's see how well it's built. Let's see if it holds up to that. Let's see. All the hardware looks like it's created up pretty decently. Taking a look at the welds here really fast before I even take it out of the box. You can see here there's some paint flaking off of that one there. But well, let's get it all out, get it set up, take a closer look. So that says 2,000 pound winch. Let's see what we got here. That's it there. So that's the winch, 2,000 pound winch. Uh, let's see. Yeah, nothing too special about it. Looks like basically just an ATV winch. Let's get the rest out of here. for it, some hardware. So, you can see right there, there's a weld maybe an inch, inch and a half long right there. The rest of that's not welded. Let's see. And for 300 bucks, I wasn't expecting amazing quality out of it, so. Let's see this side, got another weld here. It's, I can't quite tell if it's, it's not powder coated, it's like a, a paint of some sort. At the end down here, some more welding. I'm just more concerned about the welds on this thing because it will be, you know, deadlifting quite a bit of weight. So just making sure I check all that before I start installing it. But probably reinforce this plate a little bit more. Maybe weld this whole thing up on both sides. But for now, let's get it installed. Let's see what the rest looks like. Okay, so it's not awful. I was expecting it to be quite a bit worse as far as welding goes and just kind of a, a weak piece of junk. This. That's really thin. I'm not even sure what that does. That's probably, what would that be for? Probably to swivel it, I'm assuming, handle. 
I think you loosen this bolt. So here's the base and it doesn't look too bad. I think it'll handle what we're going to be throwing at it. It's not going to be lifting some crazy amount of weight, but um, just checking more welds. Well, you can see in there, but there's some bearings. So that's this is the part that swivels here. Do not hang people. Okay, well, that's a good tip. <laughs> so the idea is to kind of get that arm out as far as I can here. And I should be able to pivot and use all this space here to load anything I want. So I can at least get heavier things up on the trailer maybe just winch them the rest of the way on or however I need to get it across the deck that way. And I think that'll be good. As long as I can get some of the objects up right around here, then I can work it that way. It's just a lot of this stuff's really heavy and it's just dead weight. So being by myself and lifting this stuff up isn't possible sometimes. So this will certainly, well, hopefully solve that problem as long as it works right. So let's get this thing marked out here. center punch these real quick and drill them out. Looks pretty good from here. I'm gonna just kind of mock this up here a bit and see what we got. Drop these in. All right, there it is, mocked up right now. And let me see. See, this is why we're going to put that brace in there. If you can see the flex on that plate, let me pull on it a little bit. You'll notice the, the deck there, let's see. So any kind of load that's put on this, this whole deck is going to want to try and pull up. So we need to reinforce the, uh, not reinforce it, but basically just put new uh, hardware underneath, some uh, anchor points for it basically, so that that'll carry the load as we lift stuff with this, uh, with the crane. So let's get that measured out, cut, and throw some welds on that. All right, well, I measured down below. We need 12 inches, two pieces that are 12 inches long to run across the frame. And this uh, scrap steel should do great for what we need. I'm gonna clean up this edge a little bit and then cut two 12 inch sections. We'll go underneath, mark out where we need to drill it, and then weld it up. Two pieces, I'm gonna go clean them up just a little bit. And uh, this one I cut just a little too long, so I'm just gonna kinda grind that back down, just maybe a quarter, not even a quarter inch, like an eighth of an inch. 
bring him back and we'll get him uh, welded up there. I right, got both pieces cleaned up here, both edges, so we can get a nice weld on them. I'm going to go underneath and get them lined up with these holes we drilled. We're going to mark two holes on each, drill those out, weld it up, and hopefully it holds. Give that a shot. Let me get this side up just a little bit more. Both frame rails are built, so we have, have them drilled out, cleaned up the edges so we can get a nice weld on them. So I'll go underneath and get everything tacked up and we'll weld everything in place. And we'll install the tower itself and the boom and the winch and see how it works. So here's what I'm gonna do. I have these two bolts uh, through the deck. I have the other frame rail underneath right now. And I'm gonna basically just run the bolts through here, I'm gonna anchor them in. I'm gonna take the nut, run it up on there nice and tight so that it holds everything exactly where I need it to go. And then I can weld it and I'll have everything lined up to go. Pull the bolts back out, throw the hoist back up and we should be lined up and ready to install everything else. Go ahead and kill. Got the welds all done, let's throw it together. So I'm gonna test it out like this. And the welds look all right on here, on the frame, but if I notice any kind of issues with it, I'll, uh, I'll fix that, fix the welds on it. But for now, we're gonna try it out just like this.
Oh yeah, nice and solid. Now our only issue is going to be the whole trailer flexing, so we'll need to put some kind of a jack underneath it. Probably get like an RV jack or something, but for now I'll I don't know what I've got in there. But see how much more sturdy that is. The whole trailer's flexing versus just this uh, deck flexing like it was before. So let's get the, the boom on it and the, the winch. I think we're almost there. Pins. Drop this in. So that's a pivot pin there, and then you can change the um, the angle over here with this other pin. So the the steeper the angle, the less it'll lift. So there's a chart over here that'll show you different positions on the side. So you have A, B, and C, and then the boom when it's set to position. Let's see, actually position A here and one, so this is like a telescope, telescoping uh, arm that sticks out on the boom. As long as you're in A1, you can lift up to 1,300 pounds, set up just like that. So let's see, we'll put it there for now, test that out. So it looks like, just like that, it will lift. 1300 pounds or so, but it's not going to be quite high enough for us. Let's go to B. So B is still going to give us about 1100 pounds. And so depending on what we're actually picking up, but for a lot of the stuff, I'm going to be using it for, I think that'll be good, safely about a thousand pounds of what it should be rated to. So we'll put it in that position for now. Let's get the winch on. So I'm not too thrilled about that. This whole winch is only held on by these two little 10 millimeter bolts. See that as a weak point right there. We may need to upgrade that. All right, winch is on. We're gonna free spool it here, get this set up. So the setup's it's easy. Um, if you have to do any modifications to the trailer, your truck, whatever you're putting it on, obviously that's all dependent on what you're doing with it but once you have the uh, you know your mounting points all set it's it's really simple to set up it the quality is okay from what I can tell so far I mean for 300 bucks it's what I was expecting I didn't expect anything super high quality but as long as it'll do it'll lift what it says it lifts then I'll be happy with it um, let's get a battery hooked up to it and test it out Well, they shipped it with, um, yeah, look at that. Doesn't even fit on a standard battery terminal. So, okay, we gotta fix that. <sighs> but before that, let's just clamp it down temporarily here just to get it to work. negative and positive up here on the winch. One thing I can already tell I don't like is the length of this. And 
that's going to make it an issue, especially when you're lifting something heavy and you're trying to rotate it at the same time as you're lifting. <clears throat> so we'll have to probably run some longer wires on there. You might replace the winch with a wireless winch in the future. See if she'll lift it. Well, it does what it's supposed to do there, but we still aren't high enough. We're going to have to go to position C, which is going to limit us to. 1100 pounds so position B which we're in right now goes to 1150 so it's only going to reduce the lifting capacity by 50 pounds so I can live with that. All right let's try it like that now. cracking. You can see how the trailer's tilted a bit. I'm going to have to put those supports underneath here. I'll put a RV jack or something underneath that and help support that weight because it's obviously putting a lot of pressure in this corner. So we'll need to solve for that. But let's see if she spins free too. There you go. Yeah, that's pretty nice. I, I can see how that's going to come in really handy with different things. A lot of like tractor implements, things like that that I pick up. I'll be able to save my back on some of it. If nothing else, I can at least get it up onto the side of the trailer and then just winch it on that way a little bit more and get it up and get it up there. That's usually my biggest challenge is trying to get things you know, to the side of the trailer, and then we can use some other methods to get it all the way on. But overall, you know, I'm happy with it. It was $360, I think, delivered, and it's not bad, but I'm not going to lift a, you know, a ton of stuff with it. But for what I need it for, I think it's going to do, do just fine. So I'm going to go pick up a box scraper with this and see how it handles that job. But overall, I'm happy with it. So here's our first real world test. I'm gonna pick up that box scraper there, that Gannon box. I'm assuming that thing's gotta weigh, gosh, I don't know, five, 600 pounds, I would assume. Um, but let's see, so I drove, I only drove maybe 10 miles and the first casualty was the handle. You can see it there on the deck. Looks like the uh, hardware rattled loose. The bolt there came out. So I'll have to fix that. This thing, I don't even know if I'm gonna use it. I don't see the point in it. But let's get the battery hooked up and get this thing all uh, chained up and see if it'll pick it up or not. So this is like a little stabilizer jack I'm gonna use to put underneath the trailer to support that load as we lift up so the trailer doesn't start to, uh, to flex on us. And I don't know the exact specs on it here, but I'm assuming this thing's gotta be five, 600 pounds, somewhere in that neighborhood. So we'll be pushing this thing, I think, to the max. Be a good test.
so I am completely shocked that this thing held up. You can see it's bent. That's not the that's not the boom. That's not the crane. It's actually the trailer deck itself. It started to I think the weld broke down below on the deck, not the not the supports that we put in, but the deck itself actually started to kind of bow down right there. That was that snap at the very beginning. And from there, it held on tight. It was just an absolute bear to get this thing loaded. It was pushing every limit of this of this winch and the crane itself. It did not like it, but it finally, you know, finally got it worked on there. So I <laughs> I know the limits of this thing now, and this is the limit it's got. It's not going to go any heavier than that. So it's it's probably going to be great for smaller things like generators or maybe smaller implements, a smaller box scraper, that kind of thing. But I'm, yeah, I'm actually really surprised for the amount of money I spent on it. It held up. I wasn't expecting it to do that, but it did it. So that is quite amazing, if you ask me. So not bad for about 350, 400 bucks, somewhere in that range. Well, I'm pleasantly surprised. I wasn't really expecting it to survive the test but it did so you know what i'm going to keep it installed on the trailer i'm just going to fix the problem that we had down below cut out a section i'm going to put a solid piece of steel down below bolt it onto that and i'm going to use it i think it's actually well worth the money and i'm happy with it so uh yeah we could have bought something a lot better a lot stronger but it would have cost a whole lot more money and maybe in the future we'll do that we might upgrade it if we're trying to lift a lot of heavy stuff this this might not cut it but for right now for what we're throwing at it, I think it's perfect and I think it's going to do a great job. So if you're interested, I dropped a link in the description down below. We're not sponsored by the company, but we do get a small commission from Amazon if you do choose to buy one from them. So it helps out our channel if you use that link. And I hope you've enjoyed watching. And if so, make sure you please like and subscribe and we'll catch you next time.